say that every time we come back that's fair i'm eating a sandwich we my friends are here to play overboss board game barrage is following us what the heck what the heck thanks for the follow guys which one who is it name yourself my money is on mark you I think don't know why. i don't know that's my gut Okay, we are here to play Overboss today from Brotherwise Games. And a huge shout out to my dog who's trying to get some of my sandwich, and so she got some. Um, to Brotherwise for sponsoring this playthrough of Overboss, which just happens to be, you know, one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. Here, Juno. Have the rest of my sandwich. I can't do both. Okay, let's actually see if we can. Do a little jump in here. Maybe move some of the stuff over so everyone can see better. And then we'll do a little overview and then we'll play. Sound good, Jeffy? 
Yep. Perfect. Okay. Welcome to Overboss. Basically, this game is a tile placement game where we are going to be putting out different types of terrain around our little overworld. We're Correct. trying to be the overboss of our overworld. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair, a small tile and a big tile. You're going to put them anywhere on your map. And then anywhere that there's a free space, you can put your small tile. So you might have to put it on the one you played, but if there's another empty spot, let's say this was out here without a tile on it, you could place it up there. Okay, so each type of terrain scores differently. So let's see if that will focus. So at the very bottom, you can see it says one plus mountain two. So basically this is a cave and it wants to be close to mountain sections, which are these rocky areas. So you're going to actually get more points plus one point if it is around there. And I'm gonna have to double check because it's been a while since we've played with that one. It's always worth one itself and then two points for every mountain Thank it touches. Thank you, Jeff, that's right. That was a test and you passed, good job. So we have five different types of terrain and also there's dungeons in the deck and basically dungeons don't want anything the same around them. Mm -hmm. They score more for different things. You also are ideally trying to get your little monsters on top of matching tiles. So as an example, we have a little cloud monster and we have a cloud tile. So ideally, we want those to be matched because you'll get an extra point if that happens. Each of the trains score differently. Um, there's other special little tiles. As an example, this here is a portal which will allow you to swap or move some of your little monsters. And we're just building out a grid, drafting tiles. But what's fun about this as well is we're also going to be picking some overbosses. So we have a selection here. They'll get shuffled up and we'll each choose, we'll get, we'll draw to choose one. Mm -hmm. And these give us some kind of a special scoring ability for the end of the game. Um, and you I can also use it. Uh, it has an ability mm -hmm. that you can choose not to use, but if you do use it, you flip it so then the other person knows uh, what you are trying to achieve. Mm hmm. 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 Okay. I've picked mine. Did you get the overpowered one? No. I can't remember which one it is, but there's one that we try not to play with because we feel like he's overpowered. It's like the gorilla I've one. I've never maybe? played with this one, so I'm going to try this one. Okay. So, Jeff, quickly, don't look at the screen. I'm going to show everybody my boss monster. That's who I picked. Now, Jeff, you do the same. I'm not looking. I'll try. I never do this well. Yep. <laughs> Did you do it? I think so. Perfect. Okay. So we need... Oh, my chooser app is broken, so we do doing rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Damn it. <laughs> I tried to smash yeah, you your did. paper. Okay. So Jeff is going to draft one-on-one. -on -one. There is a way that I don't remember to get rid of some. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, so then we are on our way. I would be interested to know who has played this game. This is a great, this plays great solo also. Well, I'm going to take a nice cave cave. Smart. And I'm going to put it up here in the corner. Even smarter, some might say. A mm. uh, helmet. Anybody here watch Shit's Creek? Because that's a quote from Shit's Creek. One of my favorites. Remember it? Yep. I do. Uh, whoa. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the art is what gets me on it too. 
There is a digital implementation of this coming out on Steam. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a uh, Overboss Duel as well, I believe. I'm very excited. Okay, I'm gonna take this cave of wonders. We're gonna put it right there. Yeah, I would say if you like solo gaming and you like something, you just want something that's kind of, it's not stressful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I would say like Calico is like a brain burner puzzle. This has a little bit of that, but it's more relaxing. It's a relaxy taxi. You hear chomping. Juno is chomping her bone underneath the table. Hmm. Jeffrey, are you fading? Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Do you need coffee? No. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this dungeon and I'm going to put it right here. That's what I'm going to do. Oof. I really enjoyed Boss Monster as well. Oh, I didn't know Boss... Oh, okay. You said great solo variation on BGG. Interesting. So the vampires, or I should say the castles, score an extra two points if they have a matching little vampire in them. Jeez, lots of cave, cave dudes. We started at midnight. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jamie's been here a lot longer than I have. I've taken a lot of breaks. I also just took my medication, so that is also going to impact me a little bit. Mm -hmm. The antibios will get ya. Ura time. Ura time. I want a castle. But it doesn't have a vampire. You got a portal. Yeah, but I don't have a vampire. I guess I'll have to wait and get one. So we have five different types of terrains. And plus the dungeon. Uh, there's also a scoring mechanism if you have clusters of the same bands yes bands of the same monster types that's true let me a snack hmm i don't really want any of these tough do you know what i mean isn't there a way to clear them but i don't remember how what's the cloud it's seven minus one for every non-cloud type mm -hmm. right Ugh. My turn, my, 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 my turn. Did you miss anything between Seven Wonders and Boss Monster? Uh, over Boss. Over Boss. And no. And no. You missed me eating a sandwich, but you only would have caught the tail end of that anyway. Um, yep, I want this cloud with this. I'm not going to use that yet. Ooh, swamp. Swampy. So the little one that Jeff just took is special. They're like mini bosses. Yeah, these are mini bosses and they're, they don't go towards your bands, but they're just inherently uh, whatever value. So this one's just worth two. Just worth two. <gasps> cloud, cloud. Yep, I want that. There's a big old string hanging off it. It's attached to my cloud. Okay. Juno is chomping. Juno's having a good time with that bone. Whoops. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna try this peanut butter Kit Kat chunky sustainably sourced cocoa. Also, these crystals pop up. And they give you uh, victory points. I can never get this to. I got the magic touch, Jeff. Apparently not. Anyway. 
you can get these crystals, um, and they're worth victory points for the terrain type that they correspond with. So this one will score me one victory point for every castle that I have on the board. <laughs> you know you're tired when I start putting things upside down. Mm hmm So the trees want to be next to each other. No, no, no. This is however many trees you have out. Oh, right. The more trees you have out, the more. Right. I believe. I think it's right, right there. Yeah, on your map. Yeah. I was thinking of something else. Maybe these. I was thinking. No, those won't be next to water. And themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to use my portal. Mm-hmm. To do a flippy dippy. Smart. Thank you. Do you want some Kit Kat chunk? No. Hmm. Pretty decent. That Kit Kat chunky peanut butter is from Poland. You can taste that it's not North American chocolate. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. How so? Bitter? Here's a fun fact. Not a sugar? Did you know I that didn't. chocolate in North America has a same like chemical or chemistry bit to it as vomit? That's why people say it's sickeningly like sweet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. But they don't use that same kind of chocolate in like Europe and stuff. Crazy. Fun facts. Great game. Hmm. YOLO. She did say vomit. Did she say vomit? Sure did. And trust me, I do not use that word lightly. <laughs> do I, Jeff? No. No, you do not. This one. Geez, all the portals. Sounds like Swiss propaganda. <laughs> is that is this is it the Swiss that made Toblerone? I think I might break out over bosses. My solo challenge for today. That is a great idea, Drew. Great idea. I don't want the portal, but. Well, now you got it. Is yours to have no monsters? Is that your special thing? Well, I have a bunch of. Oh. Oh, I want this. And I can put my little swamp guy on the swamp. Swamp witch. It is a swamp witch. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. <gasps> That's cave. pretty nice. It's a cave cave. Can't go wrong. Ugh, that sucks. Hey. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I think that makes more sense. Tramp. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> what? Foss of the Meeple game -a Are you sure you can go all day long? That must be really hard. Well, you always left me smiling and satisfied. Remember the one where... Doolin like, has arrived. Remember the one where then she's like, maybe you should put your mouth on it? And he was like, I was thinking like balloons. <laughs> hmm. Good one, Dulio. Good one, Dulio. I'm eating all trash chips. Make me feel like I'm a cool Canadian. How amazing Only are they? Cool Canadians. 10 out of 10 amazing. To be fair, I don't. We don't buy all dressed that much anymore. No. We ate so much of them that like now I'm kind of like. Bleh. Yeah. Need a break. Break me off a piece mm. of that fancy feast. Chrysler car. Nailed it. Football cream. All right, I'm gonna do this. 
and I'm gonna do a portal. Slide this up here and this down here. Smart. Yeah. Ooh, I probably, oh. I need to get that one over there. Can I have some of your portals? Nope. Annoying. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna use a portal. All dress are great, but I find they destroy my tongue. I find they give me heartburn. Yeah. But most things do. They're pretty acidy. Yeah, they're, you know what? They're pretty acidy. I... No. What am I doing? Things open. I'm not doing so great. I'm feeling all right. Confidence is up. That's good for you. The dungeon sucks. Oh, I fudged something up. Bad. I meant to put this here. <laughs> oh, this. idiot. And then I'm going to use my other portal to do this. I fudged up. I fudged up, you guys. <sighs> Who even cares about that anymore? Not me. I don't know why I put that cave there. That was dumb. Yeah. I see, here's the thing. I want to take this and put it here and do a flippity floppity. Zippity zoppity. You but can't though. I know, I don't have a portal. You don't have a portal. Thinker themer. Good morning, you're still awake. Barely. I am not awake. We're here It just though. seems like I am. It's all a dream. I need... I'm going to take this, Jeff. Deal with it. Oh, no. Idiot. Stop. Think about what your goals are. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about my goals. Wait. Is this worth it? Let me work it. Put my name down, flip You guys it got reverse. this. Looking forward to playing just one when you are super slap happy. <laughs> oh my god. I am so looking forward to that. You have no idea. No idea. I'm just going to take this, Jeff. Can't confirm North American chocolate tastes like vomit, especially Hershey's. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Who said that? Yes. It does. That's a fact. That's real life science and stuff. There's some kind of chemical that is the same thing as throw up. That's crazy. I know. Crazy go. Crazy go. Which is weird because I love chocolate and I hate throw up. <laughs> we'll all wake you up. Ugh. Yes. Where you're going to wake us up, we're just going to the whole time say, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. I forget how to play no thanks. Basically, Jeff, you bid on the cards that you don't want to take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. And then, you know, you end up scoring the points on the cards. Mm-hmm. But, I forgot what I was doing. Hmm. I'm throwing caution Look, to the wind. What? You've been proven wrong. They don't add that acid to our, their chocolate. Just Hershey's or chocolate? I mean, that's an insider saying that, though. You know, can we believe their inside? their inside? Statement? Hershey's director says no. We don't put throw up in our chocolate. I'd be more shocked if he came out and said yes. We do. We do do that. Do do. This is it. The last tile. The last dandelion. Hmm. Sounds like something big chocolate would say. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, so true. Um, Alright. I love this game. It's very good. 
It's so good. We, like, we used to play this all the time. That's not what I needed. Rage. Hmm. Well, I need that. It's not bad for you. They give you another four points. Yeah. Jeff, but I have other plans in mind, you know? But they've already been foiled. Okay. <sighs> Where did I put that scorecard? Thank you. That's the game. That's how quick this game is. Amazing. Okay. So, the terrain types that we have used today are Cave of Wonders, Forest of Wonders, Cloud, Swamp, Tramp, Cloud, Castle. Castle. Okay. Jam. Yeah. Okay. Starting off with the cave. So we score everything one at a time. Starting off with the cave, I have one, two, three. Two of them are next to rocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Seven. I have one, two, three, four. Forest. I have one, two, three, four, which means I get ten points. I think you crushed me. I only have one. Usually I do in this game. One point. One? Yep. I only have one forest. Swamp. I have three. So swamps score one each plus one when they're next to another swamp plus one when they're next to water. So that's three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Nice. I have uh, one, two, so one, two. Mm -hmm. Buckle my shoe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Clouds. Clouds are worth seven minus one for every other terrain type. So essentially... <laughs> My clouds are worth nothing. It's because they're seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. I have five different terrains. Two each. Four, six. Six. Um, I have one. So seven minus one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Two each. So six also. Castles. Castles are worth two plus two if they've got Draculas in them. So I've got two, four, five, six. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You crushed me. Jamie. Lies. Definitely, you did. Okay. Castles are worth, or sorry, dungeons are worth one plus one for each different type of terrain around them. So this one's worth one, two, three, four, five. I only have one. Right? And it's not, a, it's just the four here, right? Uh, oh, good question. I think it's just... That borders it for a maximum value of five. Yeah, so I got full points. So one, uh, I would get the same, because okay. they're all different. Okay. Do the math, Jamie. No, uh, my phone's dead. Alien. Hello, Lynn. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Yes, please. I, I don't know where I put my phone charger. I literally had it. I was charging my phone today. Upstairs. Now 7 it's plus 10 17. plus 8. Something else. Plus 6. Plus, plus 6 plus 6. 6. Plus 5. Plus 5. 42. Okay. And yours is? 4 plus 1 plus, plus 10, 10 plus 6 plus 14 plus 5. 40. Okay. Next up, we score our mini bosses, which are these little guys. I only got one, so I only get two points. Same. I don't have any crystals. I do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Matching monsters. So one point for each monster that's on a matching terrain. I have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yikes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. I have more than I thought I did. Apparently. Bands. Okay. I always need to be reminded. 
So for a band of, let's just see which I think ones two I and have. above. So I have two here, which is worth two. Plus two is four. I have a band of three, which is worth five. So four, five, six, seven, right. eight, nine. And then another of two, so 10, 11. Uh, I had two, three, four, five, six. How much are three worth? Uh, five. So 11 also. Token score. So that's 22. 19, 20, 21, plus eight. 29. 29. 29. Boss score. I have Kazana. Score plus three for each separate group of exactly three tiles of the same terrain type. So I have three, six. See, I meant to put that one here, so I could have put that one there. So I mm. only get six. Not good. I get one plus or one victory point for each type of monster and mini boss on your map. Each mini boss is a unique type. So I have one, two. Three, four, five, six. I think I got you. I think you did too. 42 plus 22 plus six. I think that's 52, right? I, I don't know. What was it again? Uh, 42, 42 plus 22 plus six. You definitely got me. I can see because we're even Stevens on most of them. What is it, 70? Yeah. 40 plus 29 plus six. 40 plus 29 plus six. 75. Beat me by five. All right, time to flip the table, people. Beat me at my game. My game. This is what the people wanted to see. Jeff pulls out a win. Don't encourage it, Michelle. Okay. I never win this game. So this feels good. Is I needed it? this one today. This feels good. GG, team. GG. Okay. So here's the plan everybody next up we have a little camel up how would you let that happen jamie leanne nobody knows i don't know i'm not happy about it we have camel up next with jen and francis from the board game garden that's happening in half an hour then we are doing a little no thanks with thinker themer and then i forget i have it all written down on a piece of paper so huh? i wouldn't forget Then immediately after, we're hanging out with Nicholas Murphy, Nicholas William Murphy of the Brothers of the Murphy. We're playing Planet Unknown, right? Planet Unknown. We're going into the unknown, and that's at 7 p.m. our time. So whatever that means for you, 6 p.m. Eastern. Then we're going to have a, a little break. Then we're hanging out with Alex and Meg, and we have a little break. What are we playing with Alex and Meg? Lost Ruins of Arnak. Oh, boy. And then we're ending off the night with the table knots and the second star to the left crew in full nonsense form. Indeed. I have to tell you something. Doolin played poetry for Neanderthals, and guess what he rated it? What? 9.5 out of 10. I don't believe that. And you that. made me get rid of that game. I didn't make you get rid of it at all. Doolin, can we play it? Do you think, Doolin, do you think we could play po po poetry for Neanderthals tonight? Asking for a friend. He said, it's so good. He literally said, best party game he's ever played. Come off it. Yeah, that's what he said. He's just getting you riled up. No. No. He loved it. Ugh. Okay, so we are just going to take a little break -see poos We have to feed the dogs and stuff. So we're going to do that, and then we'll be, we'll be back. Right? Yes. Okay. I'm there was an office reference I was losing. Jenna got rid of Poetry for Dana Falls too. Yeah, Jenna gets it. I don't know. Back at 4 Eastern. Yep, if that's what 5 hour time is, you got it. 4 Eastern, 5 hour time. Got it for a gift and said nope. I got it for Jeff as a gift. And then he said no. Okay. We're going to leave. I'm going to set up. Camel up and feed the dogs and do all the stuff. And we will see everybody real soon. See you real soon. Bye. Bye friends.